No Man's Sky is a game which I have covered since March of 2017. No Man's Sky is a game which, in terms of YouTube, has changed my life and 100% for the better. And even though MZK is a channel built entirely around No Man's Sky with a few games sprinkled here and there, I don't bang out No Man's Sky nearly as much as I should. I mean, I only have around 240 hours on the game and that is a absolute drop in the ocean compared to those with thousands. However, No Man's Sky is a game which in recent years has gained a load of traction, mainly from the insane amount of support in the form of large updates, community events, ARGs, new platform releases and so on. To this day, No Man's Sky is a game that's constantly being added to and messed around with, even though so many people thought it crawled slowly into its grave back in summer of 2016. For for this exact reason, I think it's only right that I make a video dedicated to why you should give No Man's Sky a chance in 2019, or not even a chance, why you should definitely play No Man's Sky in 2019. So with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. Okay, so let's just start with the big guns, all right? Let's just get straight into it. No Man's Sky in 2019 is a completely different game to 2016. You think back to August of 2016, you know, the lovely summer heat, the excitement that No Man's Sky was finally releasing after all of these delays and speculations and whatever, and it releases an absolute shitter. The launch will always be remembered as having missing content content, lies from Sean Murray in Hello Games, and radio silence, but the thing is, that is the past, that is 2016, and 2016, when you stop to think about it, was actually quite a long time ago. No Man's Sky in 2019 does not resemble its strange kind of inbred, a bit, you know, messed up in the head cousin, which it was all those years ago. Now, don't get me wrong, the game is still on its way to becoming what it was supposed to be. You know, there is still a way to go, but the one thing which you cannot deny is that all updates since 2016 have a aim to solve this exact problem. Updates have added what was missing at launch, the big things which people complained about, but then some more on top of that, new content which we were never promised, which was never spoken about. So really, we never get an update which should have been there in the first place. There is always something added to make it feel new. So all of the updates so far since 2016, I mean, there have been a lot, a load of big, big updates, and these aren't even accounting for the smaller ones which have come in between. Now, I'm going to go over all of the big updates and the biggest things which they have added since 2016. But remember, these are only the show-off features. There are at least a dozen other features bundled with these updates. Foundation, released in December 2016. Base building, changes to terrain, tools for auto mining. It was an update for future updates, as you will. The foundation for things to come. Path Finder in March of 2017, three planetary vehicles, base sharing, ship classes and unique bonuses. This was essentially the foundation update part two. Atlas Rises in August of 2017, texture and lighting overhaul, completely new story with 30 hours of content, activated portals that allowed you to travel between planets, procedurally generated missions, space combat improvements, a general graphic overhaul. 1.3 was the next update before we have next. This was the first big update for No Man's Sky. Next, July 2018, full multiplayer support, third person perspective, overhauled base building, overhauled elements, overhauled generation, new refining system, new cloud rendering technology. Next, overhauled No Man's Sky. Next, brought No Man's Sky into the present day. The Abyss update, October 2018, a fairly small update that aimed to overhaul underwater areas, including brand new animals, denser flora, a whole new story, submerged ships and ruins, and better fish AI, Call of Duty Ghost style. The Abyss update was not meant to be a big chunky show off update, it aimed to improve one part of No Man's Sky and it did that very very well. Visions, November 2018, this was the last update which we have received until Beyond comes out. Visions was again a smaller update and it aimed to mainly increase colour diversity, make the universe feel a bit more colourful 
and a bit more alive, something which was lost with updates previously. There was also some small additions of rainbows, archaeology on ruined technology and a load more. Visions in my eyes was by far the smallest update, but it was not the least important. So that is just an idea of the amount of support No Man's Sky has received since 2016. And bearing in mind, these updates have all been free. If you haven't touched the game since it launched, then you are going to be in for one hell of a surprise. Number two, ongoing support for the future. The Beyond update was recently announced for No Man's Sky, and this is hailed as the next update, but on steroids. What we know so far is that the Beyond update is a three-part update. Two of these parts are already known to us, one of which is a multiplayer overhaul to resemble MMO elements, and the second part is full VR support for PC and PS4. Bearing in mind, VR support is not a separate game. It is completely free. It is simply part of an update, and that is such a rarity in the VR market. The other part of Beyond is currently unknown. However, it is likely to be variation or perhaps something space related. Beyond is going to be a very, very large update when it releases in summer 2019. We don't yet know the precise date in which it will release. However, information is being trickled out slowly. So in short, Hello Games are not planning on stopping to support No Man's Sky for the foreseeable future. Buying No Man's Sky will give you your money's worth immediately with all of the content that currently exists in 2019, but the guarantee of free content further down the line is an absolute steal. I find it very difficult to name a game out there that provides this much content with such a small team of 20 something people. It is such a rarity to see nowadays. Number three, no scummy business practices anymore. Yes, the launch was awful. Yes, Sean lied. Yes, they got investigated by the advertisement standards, but that was 2016. I am a strong believer in giving people a second chance, not holding grudges and giving people the opportunity to prove themselves. And since 2016, Hello Games have taken that chance and really proved to us that they can change. The days of radio silence, the days of promising stuff which never made it into the game are are just a thing of the past. Hello Games in the modern day are so, so different to what they were back in 2016. They're more calm, they're more collective, they don't say stuff until it is actually made. False hope and false promises have not been a thing since the game launched. But when I say that No Man's Sky has no scummy business practices, I am mainly referring to the good old paid content. You know, you buy a game for £60, £50, but then there's still a large portion of the game that is shut off behind a paywall. But No Man's Sky does not do that, and I know a lot of you may be surprised considering how yes, you know, dishonest the game was at its launch, but in the current day, No Man's Sky has absolutely zero paid DLC. Everything is free, and there are also no microtransactions, there are no cosmetics, there are no loot boxes, there are no special editions with more content. The game is just the game. You buy the game for a set price, and you get all of the other content that everyone else has paid, regardless of how much they've paid for it, or when they have bought it. It is like the golden age of gaming, the time where you could just buy a game and the game is complete and you get your money's worth and then some as well. No Man's Sky is definitely one of the most ethical games in a strange ironic turn of events because in its present day it adopts a business strategy which is just not profitable in the slightest. They have not charged for content since the game released and yes they did release it on Xbox which was most definitely a source of revenue but it does make you question how they continue to make money. Either way No Man's Sky is not your typical EA release. It isn't the same game as it was last year but with half of the game locked behind a paywall. And in the modern day as I said where this is so commonplace it is absolutely wonderful to see a game that is made for just passion and not money. Number four, an absolutely incredible community. The No Man's Sky community is a big community, but I guess you could say it is not big enough. I always look at the No Man's Sky community like a small Welsh village in the middle of nowhere. You know, the kind of village where everyone knows everyone. If something were to happen, most people would find out about it from word of mouth. That is kind of how I see the No Man's Sky community. 
Now, in terms of the media side of things with No Man's Sky, I myself consider myself a content creator. I mean, I've made No Man's Sky videos since 2017, and I know all of the other content creators fairly well. I mean, we all met up in London to look around a No Man's Sky exhibition. All YouTube content creators are friendly with each other. They all join together. There is just constant media from these guys, and it is so lovely knowing that they're actually genuinely friends. They're not just internet friends, you know. They have met up before. They have done stuff for each other and it is just really really goddamn nice to see and that isn't even considering the artwork the fan-made films there is just a absolutely amazing community in no man's sky because from the ashes that was the launch of the game a absolutely beautiful tight-knit friendly community was born out of it it is probably the most down-to-earth community that are just welcoming to anyone who joins you could have been a you know bad bandwagon hater back in the day join the community and you'd be treated the exact same compared to communities like call of duty or dota 2 where there is just a lot of shouting kids and you know racism and all of that stuff no man's sky is just the furthest away from that it is a mature community at that a lot of the members are older than you would expect but that isn't a bad thing it means the community is generally quite quiet it's quite relaxed it's nice to be a part of and honestly the community is one of the best things that defines no man's sky and finally there is the chance that you are being a part of something much much bigger so no man's sky is bound to explode one day and have a second resurrection i always look at no man's sky like minecraft because minecraft started out as something so small and basic you know there was an idea there but it needed more content added to it minecraft over the years finally became this absolutely amazing game with a wealth of content and a really really dedicated player base no man's sky can be exactly that in fact it's in the near enough same situation a game which released with a hook but just not enough content that is gradually being updated at one point in time people may indeed look at no man's sky like how they look at minecraft nowadays a game which started off so simple but became something so big and so influential and like minecraft a lot of people like to say that they were the OGs, you know, the people that started when Minecraft first released in 2011 on the Xbox 360, like myself, I'm not bigging myself up. So there is a chance that if you get a part of No Man's Sky right now and you get involved with the community and you start playing the game, years down the line when No Man's Sky becomes the next Minecraft, you can take pleasure in knowing you were there before it was cool. So guys, I do hope that that made you at least consider purchasing No Man's Sky in 2019 and hopefully that has made you realize that the game is so vastly different and you should 100% pick it up so i just want to say thank you very much guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you guys enjoyed it then please do feel free to leave a like on it and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skin boot signing out